The activated clotting time is a test that is used primarily to monitor high doses of unfractionated standard heparin therapy. And one of the devices or apparatus that can measure this ACT could be Medtronic ACT+. Plus. This apparatus is in use of us every day in neurointerventional radiology. Let's start with principles. So the activated clotting time test measures the clotting time of fresh whole blood. Hattersley's original procedure used diatomaceous ears as the activating agent. In times that Medtronic activated clotting time cartridges uses uh, use kaolin suspended in a buffer as an activating agent. It is not so important for you as a practitioner, but anyway, it is mentioned. So the end point of the test is the detection of blood or a clot formation. ACT Plus detects clot formation by measuring the rate of fall of a plunger contained in each cartridge channel. The plunger assembly falls rapidly through an unclotted sample. A fibrin web formed during clotting impedes the rate of plunger assembly descent. So clot formation is detected by a photo-optical sensor located in the actuator assembly uh, of the instrument. The ACT Plus instrument performs simultaneous duplicate tests using a uh, two-channel cartridge. The clotting time for each channel and the average are displayed in seconds following completion of the test. How to collect and prepare blood sample for the test? Blood samples are that are improperly drawn and handled can yield erroneous coagulation test results. So samples must be collected carefully and handling techniques must be uh, consistent. If blood is obtained by venipuncture, the venipuncture should be clean and first several milliliters of blood discarded to avoid contamination of the sample with tissue thromboplastin. Blood should not be taken from heparinized indwelling catheters or other anticoagulated lines without thoroughly flushing the line or removing some uh, quantity of the blood initially and after taking for sample. When testing fresh whole blood, samples should be tested as quickly as possible after collection. Baseline samples which contain no anticoagulant should be tested within 60 sec seconds of, of collection. In times that heparinized samples should be tested within two minutes of collection. And after inserting these uh, cartridges, which are two in number, at the line indicated to supply. Procedure materials supplied high range activated clotting time cartridge. So we are using this type, but there are Three types of cartridges like high rate, high range activated uh, cartridges, low range and recalcified. So materials required not, not supplied by the apparatus. Uh, syringe, sterile, uh, single use, blunt needle or ACT plus easy fill accessory fresh whole blood or citrated whole blood sample. Steps. So when you are in front of the ACT uh, Med Plus, you are turning on and after on main menu, select the type of cartridge like high range activated clotting time cartridge or HR ACT. You are selecting the corresponding uh, cartridge that you have in use. Press enter, enter patient ID. But before using this, before collecting the test sample within three to five minutes or maximum 12 hours, as you see here, you can pre-warm the cartridge. Fill each cartridge channel with the appropriate sample of uh, volume of blood. Like this, here you will see an indicator of the right level. 
do not allow blood to drip in onto the cartridge flag uh, or cartridge walls. Insert the cartridge into the ACT plus instrument and and close the actuator head block to start the test. So clot formation is signaled by an iodible tone. The actuator head blocks a uh, block opens and the results are displayed in seconds, of course. And the last line results and an expected values. So the response of the activated clotting time to heparin varies uh, considerably from one individual to another, and various drugs affected affect the activated clotting time. A number of other factors can affect the response of an individual's activating clotting time to heparin, for example, antithrombin three levels heparin potency, coagulation factor deficiencies, sample activation, and any other. These factors should be uh, taken into, uh, into account when interpreting the results of activated clotting time test. So, for example, we are taking uh, one sample from patient and inserting in two different channels. Channel number one, uh, shows clotting time like 210 seconds and the second 200 seconds. Mean clotting time will be 205 and this result is interpreted as the final. Here we have many examples of two different donors like one second and third and you can see that Giving one milliliter of heparin for which uh, which consists five uh, thousand of units international units for the first patient will be two hundred fifty five for the second patient administration of the same dose will be one hundred ninety eight and the third will be one hundred eighty and of course we have initial initial number or before administration of the heparin. And you can see differences which vary at one patient to another, depending on different factors which we accounted before. So that is, we are measuring the time of formation of the clot, which impaired optical uh, view of uh, background of the cartridge. Thank you very much and have a great time.